Army veteran, uh, very effective player, a little bit unorthodox, a little bit undersized, but was an older guy, more mature, and you could see the maturity in him. I sometimes wonder how old he really was, uh, but you know he had done his stint in the Army and came in an incredibly unconventional player. I mean, I, I can't even explain his game at 6'7", six, 6'8", six, long and lanky and could shoot the ball, uh, but he was a great player. Uh, he really was a player that I, I, I think is underappreciated in, in K-State history, but you know, he was kind of on that last hurrah, the last maybe great player that Jack Hartman brought in uh, and brought him in an unconventional way, finding him coming out of the Army. Sarge set the tone the first day he was here. When we were running and conditioning, and we had to run the stadium steps in the football stadium, and he beat everybody by about two minutes. We found out what type of, truly what type of athlete Norris was. Tremendous, tremendous talent. You know, a guy that can just absolutely put the ball in the hole. He was just a scoring machine. He could run all day. He was very, very interesting personality. You know, on the court would never say a word. I mean, I was just a young, a little bit naive freshman, but you know, he, he would respond to me on the court. Uh, just go about his business. And that was to score the basketball. Off the court, you couldn't get him shut up. I mean, just constantly talking and talking and teasing people and, and running his mouth. and. Um, it was just, I'd never seen anybody that extreme going from on the court where he wouldn't say a word to off the court where it was constant. He really kind of pumped some life into K-State basketball after a couple of two or three down years in the program where everything was, you know, kind of, you were wondering could K-State get the magic back and then here came Norris Coleman. He came onto campus and was an immediate hit, had a flair about him, always had a smile, played with the toughness and, and uh, he was what Kansas State needed at that time. He gave him a little flair and a little shot in the arm and had a little flamboyancy to him. And he had a very good season in 86, getting ready to come back for 87, and the NCAA ruled that he would be ineligible for part of the season. And we were, you know, all the fans were thinking, okay, Sarge is coming back and he's going to be the leader, and we've got these other guys that are from junior college that are pretty good and this freshman who's pretty good. And, you know, Coach Kruger's got a year under his belt and thought this was going to be the big deal, that this was going to be the year we were really going to do well. And then he gets suspended and we think, you know, the world's coming to an end. All that attention, even during the non-conference part of the season, really was still on, on Sarge coming back. And so uh, his uh, return was uh, obviously something that K-Staters really uh, look forward to and like I said I think it, it really did have a positive impact and you know made the transition for us uh, helped in that a, a lot because by him staying lent some credibility by him playing that second uh, you know the conference part of the season kind of gave us momentum and it allowed uh, you know Mitch and Steve and those guys to kind of have uh, an opportunity to come, you know, to, to break in without all the pressure being on them. He's just a guy that could score in so many different ways. I mean, he was uh, a tremendous athlete. You know, he could score inside, outside. He was so good around the basket. I mean, whether it was garbage points or just being able to get a shot up when he got the ball down low and to be able to work his man and kind of get around him for to score. And he was truly a, a versatile. Uh, offensive play that was a tremendously difficult matchup because of his you know, size and quickness, it was tough for people to, to guard him. As you look back on I don't know how many people who weren't really a part of the, of the K-State program at that point are really you know, following it closely even remember who Norris Coleman is and at that time we thought he was the greatest thing since sliced bread. 